So at number five with 13 wins, we got Aaron Brooks of Penn State. His last loss was in December of 2022 when he lost to Marcus Coleman of Iowa State. But that year, he was able to become a three-time NCAA champion as he won the title at 184 pounds. This year though, he's moving up to 197, trying to become a four-timer and it should be great to watch him wrestle and see if he can stay unbeaten. At number three, we got a tie between two Cornell guys, Vito Ruggio and freshman Mario Shapiro. So Mario Shapiro, he's gonna be a freshman and he has a 15 match win streak. These are all from open tournaments. He won three open tournaments last year, but in freestyle, he was really impressive as he made the U20 World Team and then won the U20 World Championships in August. And he is supposed to be a title contender as he is has wins over wrestlers who are ranked right now. And then also we got Vito Ruja who's tied at this spot. His last loss was January 6th in 2023 when he lost to Sam Latona. And he went crazy at the NCAA tournament, beating out Dayton Fix and Roman Bravo Young. So Ruja should be really great to watch this year. I think he'll be unbeaten to win his second title. Then at number two, we got Richie Figueroa, who has not lost yet. And last year, he didn't compete because he was behind Brandon Courtney, who was a NCAA finalist the year that before. But he did do well at open tournaments. He went 14-0, and he did wrestle some duels before taking his red shirt. And he has the second longest win streak because of that. He took out ranked opponents like Matt Ramos, Brett Unger, and Diego Sotelo. So that's why he is here at number two, and he does have the 17 wins, which is the second longest win streak so far. And then at number one, of course, we got Carter Sirachi with 52 wins. If you triple the amount of wins Richie Figueroa has at 17, you would still be less than Sirachi's 52 win streak. He is a three-time NCAA champion, and the last time he lost was in the 2021 Big Ten Finals. He's going to try to become a four-timer this year, and he's probably going to have a pretty easy path to winning. I don't really see anyone challenging him here, and I think he should be a four-timer easily. Yeah, that's all for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. Comment who do you think will lose on this list, if anyone, and subscribe for more content like this. Peace.